Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove and lessen wrinkles on someone's face. Uh, this tutorial could be used uh, in other places like their shirt, but this is the results. Uh, you can see here the original, and here's the, the Photoshop. Original, Photoshop, original, Photoshop. If I never showed you one or the other, you would have no clue that anything had ever been done to this photo. Uh, it does when you go back and forth. Uh, make a little difference, uh, but yeah, it, it will definitely, it can remove years off of someone, uh, um, uh, just remove harsh lighting typically, right, the shadows around the eyes. Uh, so let's get into it. So to start, the first thing we're going to do is make a duplicate layer, uh, and actually I like to make two duplicate layers. Uh, I will always keep the bottom one as the original, and I will not change it. Uh, so the first thing I do is grab the clone tool. It's a clone stamp. And I'm going to get it nice and close here. Well, maybe not quite that close. Probably here. All right. I am going to grab some skin that doesn't have wrinkles, and I am going to just mark all of this out. Okay? Probably go with a little bit bigger brush. I can see here. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to try to obviously grab skin tones and I I want this to look fake and the reason I do is because I'm going to fix it while I'm doing this and you'll see we get nice and close up to the eye so we don't want to get rid of the eye but keep doing this And obviously you don't want any patterns coming in, so if you start noticing them, get rid of them. And then I move over to this side. Well, I'll probably go here a little bit more. As you can see, the eyes are pretty rough uh, here. But I'm going to go in and do the same thing on this eye. Alright, and I could spend a little bit more time and attention to detail. I don't think that's necessary for the idea. So here it uh, looks pretty fake actually, um, which is great news uh, because that's kind of our goal. Then we take that layer and we just drop the opacity down drastically, right? So here's how they were, here's how they are. This still looks realistic. This is actually starting to look faker. Uh, so this is with that layer on. Um, as you can see, I'm at about 23%. If I start going more, it starts to look fake. So you go down to 23%, it still looks real. I'm going to merge that layer with the layer below it, keeping my original layer. You can see here, I have made these lighter, not quite as harsh. Uh, and we could do it again if we really wanted to. Duplicate layer. Right? Um, we can work on different parts of the face just to, to lessen some of these uh, shadows and whatnot. So if we really want to get in, we can now go to this part of the face. Okay? Go in here and cover some of this. So, while we're here, we'll clean this up a little bit more. Uh, we'll go back to this side, kind of do the same thing. And we can try to match tone a little bit better. Maybe use some of the Alright. 
I might be uh, a little careless right now. Um, but you can fix it all relatively easily. And that's by getting rid of it there. See? So at this point, we're just going to drop the opacity again drastically. Right, kind of lighten up around the eyes. I think that's actually pretty good. Go a little lower. Is it necessary? I don't know. Let's see, actually, that's pretty good. Merge this layer. And now we have a pretty drastic change. Um, you can keep doing that. You could do it around the wrinkles here. Uh, sometimes when your eyebrows are up, uh, it makes your forehead have a lot of wrinkles, and sometimes it looks a little harsh, especially if it's a close-up shot. Uh, well, that's my tutorial on cleaning up those uh, wrinkles around the eyes. Uh, you can do it anywhere. Again, um, you could do it on a shirt. Um, uh, you can kind of this. This is a um, something I would do if I'm cleaning up blemishes on a face, and I don't want to make someone look too perfect. Uh, so it has a lot of uh, uses in Photoshop. Uh, but it is a great, great strategy you use when you're cleaning up photos. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. Have a good one.